That's, that's my boy right there in the middle. Ron Bray Sr. loves to show off his son's hardware. As well he should, the accomplishments are long. So this is him here. Ron left Springfield for Burncoat High School in Worcester, his freshman year and his first time playing football. He was just a natural in football. He was uh, right from the beginning. From there, a full boat to Boston College. At Boston College, you know, he played with Matt Ryan, who was the quarterback for the Falcons this year. In 2009, the Patriots came calling, one of the proudest days in Ron Singer's life. Robert Kraft is on the phone, wanted to talk to Ronnie. So he runs down, basically gets on the phone, comes up. <laughs> Second pick, and they announced it on the TV, and then we were all in the front yard going crazy. It was one of the best days of my life. You know, it was totally late. I was proud, you know, I've always been proud of the kids since, since I, you know, from the beginning, but this is really a good moment for us. Ron Sr. and his sister Rhonda are still Pats fans through and through and are proud of Ron's hand in building such a dominant franchise. His aunt, thankful that from high school to the Patriots, they were there. What we had the pleasure as a family because he stayed right here, right here in Massachusetts where we could enjoy him at high school level, college level, he went to, went to Boston College, and then to play for the Massachusetts team, the NFL team, I mean, what, what better blessing we could have. Number 97 played for the Patriots from 2009 to 2012, taking his Aunt Rhonda along for the 2012 Super Bowl run against the Giants, a heartbreaking loss for the Pats and for Ron. Some of the foundations at one of the hospitals, at the Children's Hospital in Boston, he would, you know, participate in. But Ron's contributions off the field, raising money back in Springfield after the 2011 tornado, inner city camps for kids, and a tradition Ron started after every NFL Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So after that month is over, you know, you have all of these pink cleats from the, the guys. And so, they're, they're, you know, those are auctioning tools, great ways to make, raise money. And he would collect them and give them to the women, and they would use them to auction them off. As much as Ron loved football, 10 months after his death, Ron Sr. still has questions. In Ron's case, he died of a cardio dysrhythmia. And, and when he, at, at his death, the autopsy, his brain was swollen. And he had some other issues going on as a result of TBI, which is traumatic brain injury, which is, is comes from a concussion. With the Pats in Houston, however, the Brace family is hoping Patriot Nation remembers Ron the way they do. I just want them, it's nice that they remember that, you know, he played for the New England Patriots, but what I want to remember is his good heart, his humility. He's one of Springfield's own. That's my son, <laughs> you know? So that's, that's, uh, that's, that's nice. That's something I can you know, just keep forever. Beth Ward, Western Mass News.